For the quadratic function f, the table shows three values of x and that corresponding values of f of x, which equation defines f. Okay, so we're given these three points that define an equation f, and we need to see which one of these answer choices defines f. So we can see that at an x value of negative 1, f of x is equals 10. So the correct equation here, when we plug in negative 1 for x should give us a value of 10 for f of x. So let's plug in negative 1 into the first equation. So when we plug in negative 1, negative 1 squared is just 1, so we get a 3. Then 3 times negative 1 is a negative 3, and then plus 14. So if you simplify this, this just equals 14. So that means a is incorrect because it doesn't give us a value of 10 at negative 1 for x. If we plug in negative 1 into the second equation, so negative 1 squared is just 1, so this just gives us a 5, then minus 1 plus 14. This is equal to 4 plus 14, which is equal to 18. So b is also incorrect since it doesn't give us value of 10 when we plug in negative 1. Now let's check the third equation. 9 times 1 negative 1 squared is just 9, then minus negative 1, which is a positive 1, and then plus 9, 14. This is equal to 10 plus 14, which is just equal to 24. So C is also incorrect, since we are supposed to get a 10 for f of x when we plug in negative 1. Now let's check the fourth equation. Negative 1 squared is 1, then negative 1 times 5 is negative 5, and then the plus 14. This is equal to negative 4 plus 14, which is just equal to 10. So D was the only one that met the condition that at an x value of negative 1, f of x needs to be 10. So d is the correct answer.